Bank Stadium. Fielded a couple matter. yards into matter. the end zone. Okay. And they're going to start in a hole as he's brought down at the 11. The conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these team special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. Now movement already, so a flag down here on our very first play. A full start backs him up five, first and 15. Jackson from the shotgun. This will be caught by Brown. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. A good start offensively. 15 yards on the game's initial play. Now they can breathe a little easier. Some room to operate as they've got it first and 10 now out past the 20. From the gun, Jackson. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. Again on second and ten, it's Jackson. Got a man, okay, it's Brown. Baby. And they work this well upfield across the 45. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. First and ten at the 47-yard line. Accepted. Picked up by Jonathan Jones. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. Interception. Here's Newton. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. He was looking for Julian Edelman that time. And that'll bring up second down. That was nice work there defensively to force the incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. Second and ten. Sony Michelle, his first carry. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. Check, check, 
So that'll back him up five. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. Now Newton. Dancing to his left. He may try and run for this. And he gets this only to the 41. Not near enough for the first. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble. And now fourth down. But it brings up fourth down. the field. He'll keep the offense out to go for it on four. Now the short yardage man, Burkhead. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Now a first down carry, it's Michelle. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. And the result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game, or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. James White's first carry. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? And it's third down. They need to get this to the 24 on third down. On third down, Michelle. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. It's now fourth down. And they're going to at least line up to go for it here on fourth down. They snap it to Newton. A hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down, and the Ravens are going to get the football back. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Well, they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back, and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. to throw again. Jackson. And that'll be incomplete. Jackson took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. And he's only hit on two of his first six passes. Time for a quick quarterback regroup here with a big third down coming up. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. From the gun, it's Jackson. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they have to give up the football again after this one. Straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on fourth. 
They'll indeed go for it with Jackson. And they hit him as he throws as this one's going to go straight down to the turf. Incomplete. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And it'll be a turnover on downs. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. Michelle and he's got about five yards as he's taken down right at the 25. Tackled at the 25 yard line. A gain of five brings on second down Michelle and he's going to take this one down to about the 23 yard line. With a heavy set out there three tight ends in the formation for the third and three. They'll run it this is Michelle. He's got the first down inside the 10, and he gets it all the way down to the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And they will run it with Michelle. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. They'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Extra bulk up front for second and inches. Three tight ends. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. And prior to this third and two play, we're going to get a timeout call. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Michelle, and he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. Taking it in from two yards out, and the Pats have taken the early lead. He had the option to hand that football off. I think it's safe to say that he made the right decision. That was a heck of a run. It certainly was, and when you mentioned the option, most people think the quarterback's not going to keep the ball. You know, in the NFL, that's usually not the recipe for being around too long. So when you do keep it, it often surprises the heck out of a defense. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. At their own 21-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory. But the other guys held up. They didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? That was planned going into it. Not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold it. He trusted his defense. He trusted his defense very much. And I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own sideline. Well, we'll see what his offense can do. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, yo, yo. Throwing now. Jackson on first down. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. Brian, I think it's high time to get him some passes that he's comfortable with, some easy throws, some completions. He's not even hitting the 50% thus far. Well, certainly that has played a big role into why they are trailing right now. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Throwing again. Jackson. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Again, Jackson. It's caught by Mark Ingram. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. The Ravens get a new set of downs. At the 43-yard line. 
So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. Straight into a wall of tacklers at the line of scrimmage. It's second down. Taken down right at the line. Of Here's second and ten. No gain on the play. Second and ten at the Patriots' 43-yard line. From the gun, Jackson. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. And their inaugural sack of the game coming from an unlikely source. You mean it wasn't a linebacker? It wasn't a defensive end? It was somebody like you. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's a surprise for the offense. That's not what they normally get when they think about pressure. Now, after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. Operating from the gun, Jackson. And he's got his man, Marquise Brown. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 22-yard line. That third down conversion, good for 23. 22-yard line. Mark Ingram, and they'll get him down right about the 20. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Second and eight, Jackson. Looking for Snead, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. They told us repeatedly earlier in the week in our meetings, we need some plays from our defense here on the road early. They got one. And don't think they were above all week long pointing out to their defense that the other defense is rated higher than them. You gonna let that happen, guys? Is that how we're going to play? And they responded to the challenge. A shotgun snap for Newton. Trying to squeeze it into Edelman, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey, and he'll get this back down to about the 12-yard line. And you can hear it all the way up here. Oski, Oski, everyone turned to block, find a spot, and now they're set up inside the red zone for their offense. After the interception, here's Jackson. He's got it to Ingram, complete. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. They'll contain him to just four, second down. And that's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Looking to throw again on second down. Jackson, that's complete, right around the eight. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. Six-nothing, our score after one. position to begin the drive, but now they look up at a third and five. From the gun, Jackson. Got a man, it's caught. For a Ravens touchdown. Willie Sneed there to make the grab. And the Ravens can take the lead now if they hit the extra point. 
And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic, but usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, I'm wide, the skinny, the game. whatever. The there the it game. results in a touchdown. And not a great return here. He'll make it back only to the 10-yard line. Anytime you feel the kickoff inside your own end zone, you've got to be decisive about whether you're bringing it out or not. Sometimes that indecision can really cost you. That may have been what happened on that play. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action. I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. Forced out to his left. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass yeah, downfield yeah, that fell incomplete. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. And the Patriot first down. Cam fighting. He lost the football. It's out. And a terrific return there. They're finally able to corral him down near the 11-yard line. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Ingram on first and 10. And he'll fight his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Two yards. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? They'll run with a rookie second rounder. It's J.K. Dobbins. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown run. And the Ravens have taken the lead. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And this carries into the end zone. And this will be brought out to the 25 as Taylor elects to not return it. 25-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. So you can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense, but when you turn it over, it changes momentum, and when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. They lost four there, and it's third down. Peleus Campbell on the stop. Brought down back at the 21-yard line. New England on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and 14. Newton now to throw to Michelle on the screen. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. They do get 12, but they'll be marked short. And that leads to a fourth down. Now it's Newton. 
when you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield, a really nice pickup. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. And he gets stopped up at the 31 after a gain of maybe a yard. The ball carrier. Well, every now and then we have to let a cliche fly, partner. And in this case, what do they say in the NFL? Your best ability is often your availability. This is an extremely durable kid coming out of Ohio State. Carried the ball every time they even thought about running it. Wore down defenses and able to break big runs late in games. J.K. Dobbins going to Baltimore, an absolute perfect fit. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. 36 yard line. The Ravens on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This is going to be third and 13. Operating from the gun, Jackson. He gets it to Brown, complete. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. But the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. On first down, Ingram. And he'll find his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Ball at the nine on second and eight. Second and eight at the Patriots nine yard line. They run from the pistol with Ingram. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10 yard line. That'll be a loss of a yard and it leads to a third down. It's now third and nine. On third down, Mark Ingram. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. So they put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown, but that's actually okay. They got three points. It would give the defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all to me, that's a good drive. At their own 20-yard line. at the line ready to go and on that last drive went for it on fourth turned it over a good job by their defense though they held them to three but this offense they've got to be a little bit better a little bit more careful here and sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down when they decide to go for it it's not necessarily the coach saying i believe in my offense sometimes the coach saying i believe in my defense i can afford to go for it here because if we don't get it I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what you think that factored in. I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. It'll be a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. At the 38-yard line. Out of the shotgun, a give to Burkhead. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third. We always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. And the throw there going to be incomplete. 
And when you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. And they're going to go for this. Just one for three so far on fourth down tries. They're trying again. They will go for it. Now Newton. He's got Sanu. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Defensively, a bit of a collapse, allowing the fourth down play to result in 23 yards. Flush to his right. His throw incomplete. He was looking for Mohamed Sanu there, but it's going to be second down. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. From the gun, they run with Michelle. Fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. A three-yard pickup, and it's third down. Throwing on third down, Newton. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. Derek Wolf popping in for the sack. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. 20-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coach's two-minute drill. From the 27, Jackson, and his throw is incomplete. The veteran Stephon Gilmore able to break that one up. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties, and he's able to knock that one away. He's going deep for Brown. It's caught inside the 25. It's a big play there for Baltimore. 51 yards. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. From the gun, it's a run for Ingram. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Jonathan Jones there to make the stop. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. On second down, Jackson. This one complete to Ingram. Woo! Give me some. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Ravens will extend their lead. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there. Unable to do so, that makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. Tucker now to add the point after. He missed one earlier, remember, but this time he gets it to go. That's the score. Ravens 23, Patriots 6. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. 
This taken in about four yards deep. And this will be brought out to the 25 as Taylor elects to not return it. at the line ready to go and you're under a minute to go in the half a first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you how do you think they'll play this well i think the smart approach is to run out the clock lick your wounds at the half and see if you can come up with a strategy to play better in the second but it's also something to challenging your offense right here you know hey guys you help dig this hole see if you can get in a double coverage and it's intercepted picked off here by jimmy smith when a team's turned it over three times in the first half, we just look at the offense and say, guys, what are you doing? But instead, we really should be looking at the defense. They've created the takeaways. Two interceptions, one cause fumble. They played awfully well swarming to the ball here in the first half. Jackson and that is incomplete he couldn't hold on through the contact brings up second down incomplete once again they'll go from the 23 yard line on second and 10 to throw again Jackson He's got his man, it's Andrews. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Now the Ravens gonna use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Jackson to throw. They go screen, this is Ingram. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. 12 more yards there and another first down. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. And that'll be caught. Touchdown, Ravens. It's Hollywood Brown. Marquise Brown as the first half is winding down as the Ravens push further out in front. now for the extra point. For the extra point. And the lead is now 24. Good. Makes the score Ravens 30, Patriots 6. Justin. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. And this will make it into the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. At their own 19-yard line. The 
Pats at the line, ready to go. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. And it's third down. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. Now it's Newton here off the bootleg. Eluding the pressure right. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best as that brings us to the end of his first half of play. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. Justin Tucker is the kickoff for ball. The Patriots trailing here, but they will have the football first as the third quarter is underway. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. And he's taken down but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. And now the Raven defense going to call a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Newton now to throw. They'll roll him out right, and this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. On second down, Michelle, and he's going to get about seven yards on that one up to around the 33. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Newton, flushed out right. Cam fighting, he lost the football, it's out. And it's picked up by the Ravens. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. He was under duress, surveying, trying to find somebody to get the ball out of his hands. In the meantime, the defense, they took it out of his hands. And when the ball snapped, I know exactly what the defense is thinking. Get a sack, put him on the ground. But when you can also knock the ball free while doing so, oh, there's the bonus for you as a defender. Ingram. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Again, they'll run with Ingram. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. No gain on the play. This defense could use a few more plays like that right now. It certainly could, but think about it from an offense's perspective right now. They've got a lead, but they don't want to throttle down too much and stall themselves. Still want to move at a nice pace. On third down, Jackson got his man complete over the middle. That's Ingram. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a pickup of 11 and a Baltimore first down. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. On first and 10, it's Jackson. 
Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Too far downfield, something those linemen have to watch out for, and that time it costs them. To throw is Jackson. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. 13 yards there offset some of the penalty yardage as it's second down. Two yards left on second down from the 9. Now left side on the swing pass. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Well, that last completion certainly not what they were hoping for, as now they'll try to convert on third. And Jackson throwing once more. They set up the screen to Hill. And he'll be brought down shy of the first down marker at the 11. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. So that's a seven-play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. And things were a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to the goal, Line. They stiffened a little bit and forced the field goal. Justin Tucker to kick off for Baltimore. Tucker now following the made field goal set to kick it away. This taken in about four yards deep. And this will be brought out to the 25 as Taylor elects to not return it. The Pats at the line, ready to go. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime, they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is, just what you said, you've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional <laughs> side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere, and so far, just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. He's airing it out for Sanu. And look at this, Cam Newton intercepted a third time. Picked off here by Jimmy Smith. I tell you, Brandon, it seems like this guy's been all over the field so far. That's his second interception of the game. And so much of playing defense in the NFL, especially when it comes to defending the pass, is all about positioning and technique. And this is fantastic work on both fronts there. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Jackson on first down. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. They'll come up on a second and four now from the 40-yard line. Check 
Jackson. Steps up by the Patriots. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. We know he's got the speed to get downfield, Charles, but there's the negative side, a little loose with the football that time. And that's normal, especially when you have his type of talents because you feel like you're into the open field and maybe you don't feel the people who are around you are closing in. All quarterbacks have to do extra ball security drills with the way the game's played now because defenses, they attack the football as much as they attack the runner. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Touchdown, Patriots. Newton on first down. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield strike. Derek Wolf picks up his second sack of the afternoon. And his throw here is incomplete. The tight end, Dalton Keene, the target. And it's third down. It certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. From the 50, Newton. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. Matt Judon able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. It's been a tough one all game long for this offensive line. They're already down big, and now you know they're just going to come after the quarterback in a big way, don't you? Yeah, that old, they just can't get out of their own way right now. It's created an avalanche, and an avalanche is coming right on top of them. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. 